DB Media Converter transcodes your existing content, whether video or still images, to the correct format to use with your ViewStream and VideoFly products. The transcoding will ensure that the correct bit rates, file formats, required audio track, and a constant bit rate encoding are used. So okay, let's let's look at the software. So here you can see I have DB Media Converter open. Uh, the top window is where you um, will select the content that you want to transcode. So this could be video or still images. So as you can see here, MPEG, AVIs, MP4, uh, transport stream, movie files, WMVs, and JPEGs uh, are selected here. The second window is where you want to output the file to. Um, third window is the output file. This enable, lets you rename the file uh, or use the name that it's given you. This window here uh, is a drop down box, and this is where you select the player or the video flyer that you're going to be creating your content for. Um, let's give you an example of how this will work. So I will select uh, my content. I have um, on my desktop a content store. So open that up, and I'll choose uh, a trigger.jpg. So if I choose this file, you can see it's put the JPEG up here. I then need to choose the output folder. So I will choose again on my desktop I have a completed content folder and I'll select that. As you can see it's calling the uh, file trigger.ts so I'm converting it currently from a JPEG to play on a ViewStream 500 so it's going to call it a .ts so transport stream. If I was to choose um, a 700 series it would keep the same file um, and the 505, it would make it an MPEG. So as an example, the 500 we have here, I want to convert this JPEG to a video. And we can choose the duration. So I want this video file to be, say, 9 seconds. So I'll change that. And you just simply just press the Start Converting button. So as you can see, it's doing the conversion here. We'll wait for that to complete. And then we'll look in the folder to see that the video has been converted, or the JPEG has been converted into a video file of nine seconds. So you can see it took 17 seconds to be completed. So I can click OK. I can go to the completed content folder box where I've asked it to go to, and you can see the trigger dot uh, ts is in there as I've called it here in the box. So to give you a demonstration, if I right click and open this, you can see the trigger file is playing and it's playing along for nine seconds. And that's completed.